Tonight, we know what killed Wes Leonard. It was an enlarged heart. 24 Hour News 8's Ken Kolker went to DeVos Children's Hospital to ask what led to that enlarged heart. And Ken, the big question out there, what do parents need to know? Well, Brian, the sudden death of an athlete is rare. So rare that doctors advise parents not to overreact. Fortunately, it is very rare, and it's about one per state per year, and some smaller states may not have any for a number of years. So it is, fortunately, a rare event, but as we saw yesterday, again, not, not completely a, a zero risk. Dr. Grifka says the cause of Wes Leonard's death, dilated cardiomyopathy, an enlarged heart, could have been genetic or caused by recent bouts with the flu. Uh, the flu in December, that could have uh, set this up, possibly. Um, could have infected the heart. And over two months, the heart could have gotten a little bit larger than normal and weaker than normal. And then that predisposes it to having a heart rhythm problem. And the heart rhythm problem can cause them to pass out and have a cardiac arrest. A recent study found about seven and a half of every one million high school and college male athletes die suddenly. That boys are five times more likely to die as girls. That most deaths happened with football and basketball players. And it found the most common cause of death were heart defects. Dr. Grifka says there are steps parents can take to keep their student athletes safe. First, the required routine physical. We take them for granted and sometimes don't pay a lot of attention to them, but it is important to get the physical done routinely. With and he said to learn your family's health history. If there's any red flags that come up with the yearly physical examinations or the family history, then that would uh, usually prompt a referral to a pediatric cardiologist. He says there's no reason for EKGs as part of that routine physical. There's been some discussion about should we have routine screening for all athletes? Well, as you can imagine, screening 15 million athletes every year would be quite problematic. Now, the doctor tells us that if this were caused by the flu, there wouldn't have been any symptoms to suggest a heart problem. Live in the newsroom, Ken Kolker, 24-Hour News 8.